Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's for Tea and our meals of the week for this week. And it's 2023, so happy new year to all of you. I do wish you a wonderful, healthy and prosperous 2023. And thank you all so much for your support over the past year. And we are now into a brand new year. So I'm just going to take you, as usual, through our meals of the week, all the way back on Monday through till today, which is Sunday. But I'm going to start on Christmas Day because there was a bit of confusion last week about what did I have? Did I actually have that? So I will explain as we go on. So let me go and show you what we had. So on Christmas Day for a wee change, we went to a local hotel for Christmas dinner. You know, it's something we never ever do, but just fancy doing it this year just for a wee change. So that's a quick look at the menu, but you can pause if you want to see what else was on offer. But I went traditional and went for turkey. So this was the wee setup here, and I just loved the way they folded up the napkin. I'm going to try and do that myself. They folded it into a Christmas tree, which I thought was really cute. So to start, I had the beef. Uh, this is a beef and potato sort of shin croquette. So it's pulled beef. There's a wee bit of potato in there wrapped in breadcrumbs, and there were wild mushrooms there and just some lovely pan gravy with some greens on the top. And then for the main course, there was a soup course as well, which I didn't bother with because there was just so much food. I just went straight to the main course. So I had the traditional turkey with roast potatoes. There's mashed potato, there's uh, carrots and Brussels sprouts, some stuffing, and also some pigs and blankets as well, which is just the sausage wrapped up in bacon. And I thoroughly enjoyed this. The gravy in particular was outstanding because when I filmed this last week you know I hadn't actually had it yet but I'd already done the voiceover so I thought there was a wee bit of confusion so I thought I'd better do it again just to let you see and I just finished off with some cheese and oat cakes and grapes moving on to Boxing Day this is uh, the day after Christmas and in Scotland we would typically have some kind of pie so we've had a steak pie from the local butcher so I made some roast potatoes I've done these ones in the oven and some goose fat and those were lovely that's the stew and gravy from the steak pie. I made some balls of doom, so I just steamed these ones and then popped some butter in there as well. I've done a cauliflower cheese, which was lovely. I used quite a lot of mozzarella in there and it's gone lovely and stringy. And then that's the puff pastry from the steak pie as well. Just absolutely wonderful. We would typically have a steak pie on Boxing Day and on uh, New Year's Day as well, in Scotland anyway. Moving on to Tuesday, I'd done a chicken stew. So I had some chicken in the freezer that I had to use up. So I just turned it into a basic chicken stew. We had some creamy mashed potato with some garlic and butter and parsley. That's a wee Yorkshire pudding at the back. Some buttered swede there as well. And I just popped the chicken stew into the... the um, Yorkshire pudding and that was our tea so yeah fantastic and lovely and warming because it was quite a cold night as well and moving on to the Wednesday I made a lasagna we all love lasagna and we do like a few chips with the lasagna as well so we had some chips and also some salad leaves on the back with just with a wee bit of olive oil on there just to you know take the dryness off the salad that's the lasagna there yeah thoroughly enjoyed this one as well and this one cut beautifully I find if you do lasagna very early in the morning and let it set for a few hours or even the night before you know if you can and then just cut it that way and it does hold its shape really nicely moving on to thursday we had roast chicken so this is a roast chicken breast and I also made some pan fried potatoes these are just new potatoes which i finish off in the pan with some butter some broccoli some stuffing again with the swede and then with some gravy on top as well, using the juices from the chicken. And again, just a lovely, warming, comforting meal for a very cold night here in Scotland. And moving on to Friday, we had toad in the hole. Not something I make very often. I'm not that keen on Yorkshire puddings, but I do like the sausages. So that's some Yorkshire pudding there with some tender stem broccoli, just a few potato croquettes for a wee change from our normal potatoes and then some gravy. That's some onion gravy on the top and again just a lovely warming comforting plate of food there for a very chilly night and it has been very chilly over the last couple of weeks and moving on to yesterday we had mince and tatties a good scottish classic and another one of our favorites so some very creamy mashed potato there 
and I also made some buttered carrots. I just steam those and then toss them in some butter. And that's the steak, mince and onions there. This is from the local butcher. I don't think you can beat the local butcher for your minced beef or any, you know, any beef for that matter. But in particular, I think, you know, if you can get to the butcher for your mince, do go for that. Moving on to today, we had steak and stilton pie. So this is next week's recipe. So you will see a recipe coming up for this. It was absolutely delicious we do like our pies as you can tell and we just had that very simply with some baby potatoes toast and some butter and parsley and I also done some cauliflower I was going to roast the cauliflower but I decided just to make up a cheese sauce for the top of the cauliflower as well and again like all the other meals just a nice warming comforting plate of food for our lovely chilly weather here on the west coast of scotland so that was everything that we had this week so thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point and if you do like these kind of videos why not consider subscribing just before you go and thank you all for your support as well from patreon the channel members here on youtube as well and for you all for leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping and bagging or whatever else comes my way so whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you very soon back here on What's For Tea. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.